Hi, this is David. We are continuing our walkthrough of the Transactable Containers Labs. Uh, I'll put a link to the chat, those labs in the show notes. They are at microsoft.github.io slash mastering dash the dash marketplace slash containers pound labs. Transactable Containers is a way for Microsoft partners to create and deploy a containers based Kubernetes based offering to the Azure marketplace. In this video, I'll cover lab three, which takes you step by step in creating a transactable container offerings in the marketplace. Here's lab three right here. In order to proceed with this lab, you must first complete labs one and two, and I have created videos in this series walking you through those labs. So you may want to go back and watch those. In lab two, you created the CNAB and bundle and pushed it to the Azure Container Repository. CNAB stands for Cloud Native Application Bundle, which is a way of bundling up containers into a single package. And this bundle is what we're going to push to the marketplace. To do this, you must be a Microsoft partner, and I do have a blog post on that right here. I'll put a link to this in the show notes. Um, and uh, here is the Azure portal. I've already logged in, and you can see that I've created a an Azure Container Registry from Lab One, and down here is a repository with the CNAB bundle in it right here, and that's what I created in Lab Two. Uh, I've also navigated to partner.microsoft.com, and I've logged in with my partner credentials. And the first step. For lab three is I need to go to the partner center, which is this link in the near the top right of the page. Let's go ahead and take a look at these labs. Here. And step one is to create a new container offer, so I'm going to just. Put these two side by side with each other and. Uh, I clicked on the marketplace offers tile right here. This is it. So step one, click on the marketplace offers tile. And then I click new offer. I'll expand this a little. It says create new offer Azure container and then fill out a form with the av offer ID and the offer alias right here. And this suggests putting the offer ID CW dash right here with something like that. So let's go ahead and do that. There's the new offer button. Azure container brings up this dialog and I'll call it CW underscore. I'll call this GCAST offer and then the offer alias. I'll call it GCAST offer like that. And I will click create. That took only a few seconds and now another dialogue comes up that asks me for some information about the offer setup. Notice that this is actually uh, kind of a wizard here. All these tabs on the left take you from page to page, and that's what our lab's going to do. It's going to walk us through each page, and we'll fill it out in in turn. So we start with the offer setup, and if I go back to the labs here, let's uh, actually put these side by side, make it a little bit easier to read. Down here on the offer setup tab it tells us what to do. Uh, check the yes, I would like to sell through Microsoft. That's this checkbox right here. And then click Save Draft. So along the way, we're going to keep saving it without actually submitting it. Uh, we go then to the properties here. And on categories, I want to add a category. And that category will be Kubernetes apps, which is right there. Alphabetica looks like. Um, Sorry, it'll be containers first. And then under containers, it's Kubernetes app. And then under legal, um, select the use the standard contract for Microsoft, and I'll accept that. Save draft there. Next, I'll go down to offer listing here. And in the, here's my name, I've already given it that. Um, and here in the, this is actually the external name. This, uh, what I've given here uh, was what I was going to just use on internal lists here, but if I want to change that, I can do that here. And then for the short description, 
and the uh, search results are summary and the short description and the description. I want to put something that will uh, just identify it quickly and maybe with a little bit more detail. So I'll add uh, something like this for each of these, like that, like that, like that. I'll just paste the same thing into each of those. Uh, it does recommend that you put the words Kubernetes app somewhere in there, make it easier to find. And the search results for the privacy policy, we're just going to use Microsoft's privacy statement here. When you create your a real app, you'll want to create your own privacy statement and link to that. And the contact information, that'll be me, David, Giard, and what else do we have down here? Looks like I have to put the same thing in for this. And the same thing for this. And then for these images, it actually provides the images here. So I'm going to open these up in a new tab to show them to you. There's the logo, the 216 by 216 logo, and there's a screenshot. So let's go ahead and save these. Save image, and I'll put them into C colon backslash Gcast. I'll just create a new folder here called images. There's my 216 by 216 one, and this one I'll save in the same folder right there. And that'll make it easier for me to do. Here's the 216 by 216. Right there. And this one right here is the screenshot. All right, I don't have any videos, but a video is not required. Let's wait for this to finish. Uploading everything and does some processing and actually turned that 216 by 216 into multiple ones. Screenshot, a screenshot caption is required. So let's do that. Click on this and add a caption. And the caption will be um, uh, how about we are united by our love of coffee. Okay. Save draft right here. Let's go back to the lab. Preview audience is the next tab. Uh, and in here, is the Azure subscription ID to use for testing. Um, so for that, I need to go back to my Azure portal and search for subscription here and there is my subscription id right there which i can't copy control c Save draft. In the plan overview here, I want to create a, a new plan and give it a name. I'll call it GCAST plan. And GCAST plan is good there. Click on create. I have an error here. What's going on? I will refresh this page now, see if that helps. And it really wasn't an error, it was just waiting for it to catch up. So plan and if I bring this over here in the, where am I? I'm in the plan listing, open the plan listing. You can add the plan if you wish. I do need a plan summary. And this is, I'll just call it a GCAST plan and a plan description. 
plan. Save draft. Come down here to pricing and availability. Edit the market here. I want to, I'm just going to sell this in the United States. Save that. And then under pricing, select custom price, which is right there. And per core, zero dollars per core per hour is what I want. This is just a test. Save draft. Okay. Let's go to technical configuration. And how about I'll call it GCast dot Azure to do app. Your company dot Azure to do app. Click the add CNAB bundle. And right here is where I'm going to go out and find in the Azure account that's related to this partner account right here. I'm going to select that so it knew it. this was a list of all my Azure Container Registries. I only have one. I select that one. Here's a list of all the repos right here. I'm going to select that one. And there's a CNAB, and I'm going to select the CNAB bundle. So this was pretty easy. I only have one registry, and in that registry, there's only one CNAB bundle of repository. And there's only one CNAB bundle in it. But if you have multiple ones, you would select the correct one here. Okay. And... Uh, Good, good, good. Click save draft. And it says at least one CDAP bundle must be provided. And so I must have not clicked save. I think that's what's going on, right? Unless, again, I'll refresh this and see if that resolves it. Uh, looks like it didn't save it. So let me do that one more time. Select the registry, select the repo, my CNAB bundle repo, and there's the bundle itself. I'll click on add CNAB bundle here. And it is right there. Okay, so we're good to go. Um, and let's go back to the lab. And now we've gone through everything. I can click on review and publish. right here and in this notes for certification i want to let them know what i'm doing here so i want to say something like um, this offer was created using the transactable containers labs at and why don't i Make sure I grab a link to that. This, and there is a manual certification process here. Let's see, view on, let me go make sure I'm looking at the lab instructions as well. Lab three. Scroll all the way down to the step I was on and uh, review in public. You should see green check marks. And you'll see that there is a notification here. Do not actually publish this test software. Publishing containers triggers a manual certification process, and your offer will not be set for certification. So, what happens here as I go through the lab is that in this case, I will click publish, but I'm not going to do that today because um, I've actually done this before and I provided feedback and apparently they were listening because they added this little note right here that there is a human being that's going to look at this. And they're going to say, wait, this is just a test offer. It's not a real offer. We did not want to put this in the marketplace, but for a real offer, you'll click publish. You'll wait about a day or so. Someone will come back and in the partner center, there will be, let me go back to here, uh, a listing of your offers and a status of them. Right now it's in draft, but once it's submitted, you'll wait and it'll come back. It'll say rejected, accepted. If it says rejected, you want to go and look at the results of uh, the reasons why it was rejected and 
what's what's going on. Like one one common reason mine was rejected even before it got to the the test offer was that I neglected to put a caption in one of the pictures, and it that's required for accessibility purposes, even though the form itself doesn't enforce that. So in this video, I've walked you through how to uh, create an offering in the Azure Marketplace using these transactable containers offering, and I've done so through walking through these really good labs that the product team has taken the time to do this. I hope you've learned something from this, and I hope you create an actual offering using containers and Kubernetes and publish that in the marketplace, and I hope you make a lot of money with it. This is David. Thank you for watching. Thank you.